Foundation Pilates and Wellness. Whether in the studio or live stream, we work hard to help you strengthen your body and to support your mind. We're happy you decided to come on this journey with us during this challenging time, and we're pleased to offer you live stream classes every day. We've worked hard to bring this digital library for you to be able to work out with us whenever you want. And we're gonna to continue to work to improve our content. So please let me introduce you to your instructor for your class today. So I want you to find your palms directly underneath your shoulders and then your toes directly underneath um, your knees or your, or your hips directly under, uh, your hips stacked over your knees. So let's start that again. <laughs> palms are directly underneath your shoulders, knees are directly underneath your hips, toes are curled under. Push through the palms and kind of give yourself a little grip through the fingertips and then suction your palms off. That will help you stay out of your wrists. Fan your sitting bones back toward the back wall here and gather the abdominals, lift up on your sternum. So what I don't want to see is the back loose and the chest dumped. So you're really working to find that neutral alignment all the way through. From here, we're gonna just take a nice deep breath in through our nose, allowing our posterior and lateral aspects of our ribs to open and expand. So you're feeling the sides and backs of the ribs open. And then you're gonna breathe out and feel everything draw back tighter together. So nice deep breath in here. And then breathe back out again. Nice deep breath in. And then breathe out. An inhale here allows you to prepare for the movement and then exhale drop the weight of the head soften the sternum lift up through the ribs and tuck the tailbone underneath you to come into your cat back allowing everything to push and release simultaneously from your sitting bones reach out through the crown of your head lengthening the spine keeping your ribs to abs engaged drawing the shoulders down your back lifting up on your throat nice deep breath in breathe out allow the weight of your head to drop Lift up on the sternum, flex through the abdominals, curl the tailbone underneath you and round your back. Nice deep breath in, exhale, reach the tailbone out and away. Create length through your whole spine, releasing everything back out, reaching through your torso. Drop the weight of the head, lift up on the sternum, pull the abdominals in and curl through your back. And then release the sitting bones wide, stretch and reach everything forward. Now we're gonna take this into a little circular motion. You're gonna roll through the right side, so you're pushing off the left palm, roll through the chest, and really work through. So you're taking this into a nice circular motion as you roll through the ribs, translating the ribs to one side, translating them to the other, dropping the head, getting mobility through the rib cage, through the thoracic spine. And we're gonna do that two more times. So it's circular, it's loose, the ribs are moving, Shoulders are moving, we're gonna switch direction. Hips are moving, circle around, push, reach through, circle around, it's kind of like a wave. And then curl through, and here's two. And last one, come back to the center, and then you're gonna take a nice deep breath in, stretch the crown of your head out nice and long. I got warm already. And then palms are gonna suction back underneath. Now, I want you to, from your scapula, just sink the chest down into the mat and then push through the palms to float the chest back up again. Sink the chest down so this is scapular mobility and stability and press and reach up. Great daily exercise. Go ahead and sink the sternum and then press and float up. Exhale, soften and reach. And two more, sink the sternum, reach it back up. Last one, find your stability here at the top with a slight protraction of the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in. We're gonna slide the right arm and left leg out in opposition. They stay down on the mat first. Find the bolts of your pelvis and gather the abdominals. Float the arm and leg up in one piece and then slide it back down again. Exhale, reach, body is long. I want you feeling the backside of your body connect here as you get the lat to glute to reach and connect. And here's three. Feel the length from your toes to your pinky out the crown of your head. You're maintaining that front rib to ab connection. The pelvis is staying square. As if you have uh, headlights on your hip bones and they're shining down onto your mat and they're not moving. Last one, reach it up, hold here. Now flex the spine, draw the abdominals in toward the center of the body, dropping the head, and then reach it back out and find your length. 
Exhale, curl, pull it in. Inhale, reach it back out. Exhale, curl, pull it in. And reach it all the way out. Exhale, flex the spine, draw it in. Find length as you reach out in that position. And here's three. And stretch and reach. And here's two. And reach. And last one. And reach and hold. Take that palm back down to your mat. Keep your leg lifted. And then we're going to flex the ankle. Heel reaches up toward the ceiling. Heel pokes up to the ceiling. So you're getting openness on the front of the hip. As you stretch the front of the hip, working into your glute as the heel reaches straight up. For four, three, two, and one. Turn out from your hip. Draw the knee down toward the midline of your body. Open the leg out to the side. Pelvis stays nice and square. You're still pushing through the palm. You're still thinking about the sternum connection to your scap. Neck and throat are lifted. Crown your head beaming out long. That rotation's coming from your hip socket here. For four and three. Here's two. Last one, hold it out there. Stretch your leg out long on the diagonal. Flex the knee, pull it back in. Exhale, press and reach. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, reach it out long. Inhale to bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. And here's four. And three. Stretch and reach, find the length. Diagonal energy, two. Last one, rotate the hip back to parallel. Take the toe across the body and peek at it. Lift it up, take it out to the side. So it's arcing back and forth. You're lifting through the glute. You're maintaining your abdominal connection the whole time, pushing through the palms to keep your protraction of your shoulders. Crown of your head is nice and long. Abdominals are gathered. Here's three and three. Here's two and two. Last one. Last one, come back to the center. Set that knee back down into your mat and then push back and find the diagonal line shell stretch to that left glute and stretch that hip out. You can also take your wrists and hold them a little bit forward on the mat so that you get a stretch to the front of the wrists. And then take your palms back in, find the center again. So knees are underneath the hips. Palms are underneath the shoulders. Crown of your head is out nice and long. We're gonna find the opposites. So now it's the left arm and the right leg that slide out in that position. So find the bolts of your pelvis, gather your abdominals, find your shoulders. So find your alignment first. Think about those anchor points and then lift the arm and leg up in that position. Now, as you lift that arm up, you're still keeping your shoulder plugged into the socket. That humeral head is staying connected. You're not overreaching the arm out, hanging out on the ligaments and tendons. Here's three, and two, and last one. Lift it up, flex the spine, curl, pull it into the midline of your body. Exhale, reach it back out again. Inhale, to pull it in. Exhale, reach. Use your breath. Breath helps facilitate movement. It oxygenates your tissues. And here's three, it helps facilitate your co-contraction with that pelvic floor. And here's two. And last one, stretch, reach all the way. Place that palm down, pull the knee into the midline and find your clams. Open the leg out to the side. Keep the chest lifted, keep pushing through the palms, keep spreading through the fingertips. Knee opens, knee closes. It's coming from the hip socket. You're maintaining that external rotation. And here's three, two, last one. And then press the leg long on the diagonal. Inhale to bend it in. Exhale, reach. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, reach. Inhale, pull it in. The leg is staying in external rotation. The heel is reaching up high with the pelvis staying stable and your abdominals staying gathered. And here's four and three. Here's two. And last one. Toe reaches back behind the body on an arc. Toe reaches up and over. Tap the toe, lift. Tap and lift. And tap and lift. For four, three, two. Last one, knee sets down, 
Come on back in, sink back into that right hip now. Take your arms to the left side and give yourself a stretch right through that glute there. Come back to the center. We're gonna sit crisscross applesauce now. If you have a block, you could sit up on a block to help keep your spine stacked, or you could do a book or a bolster, anything to kind of get you a little bit more upright. Because what I'm looking for here in this position is for you to be able to stack your ribs over your hips, your shoulders over. So if you're having a hard time and you're finding you have to be here or you're back here and you can't get to here, then you should be sitting on something. So now, seated here, palms are going to come on top of the knees, grow taller out the crown of your head. Nice deep breath in. We're going to exhale and rotate. Place the left palm to the right knee. Hand down on the mat and spiral and look up and over. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, turn to the opposite side. Palm comes down. Push to the knee. Grow taller out the crown of your head. Find rotation through the ribs. And then inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, breathe. Rotate, lift up, look up. And then come back to the center. Exhale, rotate, lift up, look up and then back to the center. Exhale, rotate, lift, and look, and then back to the center. Last one. Exhale, rotate, lift, and look, back to the center. Arms are up to your sides, thumbs are up to the ceiling. Nice deep breath in, and exhale, turn, turn, inhale, center. So arms are doing nothing, pelvis is doing nothing. Pelvis is staying stationary, arms are stationary, the rotation is through your ribs, and now add the breath as you grow taller. It's an exhale, exhale, inhale, center. Exhale, exhale, inhale, center. Exhale, exhale, inhale, center. Exhale, exhale, inhale, center. Exhale, turn, turn, inhale, center. Exhale, turn, turn, inhale, center. Place your palms down. Awesome job, you guys. Go ahead, we're gonna rotate to the um, edge of your mat here. Scoot your booty forward a little bit. The inside borders of the feet are touching. Hands or fists are either gonna come in between your inner thighs or back up behind your knees, whatever is more comfortable for you. When you put the fists in between your inner thighs, you're gonna feed it into your adductors, your inner thigh muscles, which help get the co-contraction of your pelvic floor. So stack the spine nice and tall, and we're gonna exhale and curl halfway back rolling through the sacrum here, and then curl back up and stack up the spine. Nice deep breath in, exhale, curl back, roll through. Chin to chest stays open here, collarbones are smiling. So this is finding breath, this is soft, this is long. And then curl back up and stack back up nice and tall. So get length through the spine and then roll away. And then curl back up again. And last one, get length and then curl back. Nice, now hold right here. We're gonna grab hold of the left leg, reach, um, re keep the left leg bent, straighten the right leg down into your mat, roll your body back. So now we're in this position. Knee is up, fold the other knee up as well. Nice deep breath in, and then exhale, we're gonna straighten the leg out, and then switch and switch. So the leg that's going straight is going long and low to the mat, to achieve the length to the front of this hip. And then we're pulling the opposite knee in. Now as you pull the opposite knee in, you're stretching that sacrum out in a way to maintain your neutral pelvis. You're softening the sternum so the neck can peel up and over, finding nice flexion. So the eyes are looking toward the knees and the toes. For two, and two, last one, last one. Bend both the knees, time for a break through the neck. Take the palms back through. Find your occipital ridge, thumbs on your traps, soften the sternum. Flex the ankles, exhale, press the arms out, or legs out to straight. Inhale, bend and pull it back in. Exhale, reach, and pull it in. Exhale, reach, bend, pull it in. Find the energy out nice and long here. Sink the sternum down for two. And last one, take the legs straight up to the ceiling. Lower them down to your point of control. Inhale, sweep them back up. Let's flex and lower down. Inhale, point and sweep up. Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, point and sweep. Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, point and sweep. Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, point and sweep. 
Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, bend the knees. Well done. Take your legs straight up to the ceiling. Scissors, split them apart. You can keep your neck there if you need, or you can grab hold of your thigh. And we're gonna alternate legs. So really trying to keep that sacrum weighted. Don't tuck the back. Give me length through the back of the leg as you release the front leg towards you. Breathing out for three and three. Here's two and two. Last one, last one. Bend the knees, release the head. Take your arms out to the side, float your knees off to the right. Now as you do this, lengthen the hip down and away. And you should be able to create traction through your own side of your body there, giving yourself a nice spiral stretch. Nice deep breath in. And then roll through the hips to come to the other side. Lengthen that side away. And roll back to the center. Slip one foot up out of the sock and draw it back up. Let that femur sink into the hip socket. So that should glide down. Lift the other leg up as well. Lift the shins up together in one piece. Nice deep breath in. Take your hands back behind your head for support. We're gonna rotate the knees to the right. Stretch the legs out. Curl back to the center. Rotate the legs out to the side. And then come back to the center. I got a little ambitious on that one. Exhale, rotate. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, reach. Bend the knees back to center. So you're rolling through the sacrum to find that length, maintaining your co-contraction. And here's two, and two, and last one, and last one. Come back to the center. Hug those knees into your chest. And lengthen one leg down to your mat. Lengthen the other leg down. Nice deep breath in. Arms are gonna float up overhead. Managing your ribs, let's take the arms back down. Nice deep breath in, arms float. And then arms come back down. Let's find an alternation. So let's reach one arm down, one arm back behind. And now as you do this, there should be no change through your ribs. So what I mean by that is that you shouldn't be like this to reach your arm. Okay, so ribs to abs, stay connected and cinched like suspenders. Now lift both arms up and overhead. Nice deep breath in, root those shoulders in. Exhale, start to float the arms up, float the head up, nod the chin, roll through your spine to peel and flex and curl all the way forward. Don't collapse over. So draw your back ribs back, reach your shoulders forward, and then curl, elongate, stack your spine. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, start to roll away. Soften the shoulders, curling all the way back down. Arms reach back behind your body. Nice deep breath in, arms float up. Stack your body, curl forward. You can grab hold of the backs of your knees if you need to. You could also do this with free weights. Stack the spine, the free weights would help give you a little le longer lever to help pull you back up there. And lift the arms, sink the sternum, flex the spine. Mine's a little sticky this morning. And reach all the way forward. Stack the spine and then curl back down and well done sink your arms long down by your sides a little bit more abs draw one leg up draw the other leg up glue them together nod your chin uh, curl and reach palms are lifted you can start pumping your arms here and breathing in on five counts and breathing out on five counts if you want to make this a little bit harder you can take the legs straight up I'm gonna cue a harder leg option, you do you. So nice deep breath in, the legs come straight up to the ceiling. <sighs> Inhale, let's lower the legs. Exhale, lift the legs. <sighs> Inhale, lower to your point of control. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Make sure those femurs are spiraled in. Inhale, to lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale to lower, exhale lift. Last one, inhale to lower, exhale lift. Bend the knees, take your hands back behind your head for your head support. 
Another little ab challenge here. Draw your right knee in to your left armpit, stretch the left leg out, and then switch and switch. So the rotation is happening through the ribs. Head is staying weighted back into your palms. You're sinking the sternum, and that hip socket is opening as you stretch the leg out to straight. And here's two, and two. Last one, last one. Bend the knees. Rock that out. Stretch your right leg out nice and long. Keep the left knee bent, set your toes down to your mat. Nice deep breath in. The knee is gonna fold out to the side. We're gonna give those hip flexors a stretch now. Roll and stretch the leg out nice and long. That left leg is gonna slide past the right as you point the ankle and flex the ankle, drag the heel through mud to lift it back up, maintaining your neutral pelvis. Right hip socket anchors down. That little kid on that teeter-totter is keeping that hip anchored. Leg stretches and reaches all the way out. Reaches past the right to point and then flex, bend the knee, drag it in. I want it intentional. Open the knee out to the side, just to your point of control where you can keep that right hip anchored. Stretch and reach the leg long on your mat. Point the ankle to arrive, flex to bend and pull it back in. One more, the leg is gonna open out to the side. Stretch, reach it out. Point the ankle, flex the knee, pull it back in. Now if you have a a band or a yoga strap, go ahead and grab it. If not, you can still do this without. And you're gonna take that band and place it all on your foot. Okay, let's just work the ankle for a moment. Point and stretch, flex and reach. Yeah, so get a nice stretch in the back of the leg, point the ankle. Here's three, and two, last one. Hanging onto your band, the leg is gonna circle out to the side, maintaining that hip stable, and then reach. Rotate through internal rotation to lift it up. Rotate through external rotation to circle the hip down and around. Lift back up, externally rotate, reach it out and around. Circle in, externally rotate, rotate, reach around. So you're looking for that rotation of the hip, the femur in the hip socket for two. And last one, switch direction. So it's an internal rotation to circle out around, external coming back up. The hip is rolling through the socket. And well done. Now, down your chin, curl up, hold on to the back of your head. We're gonna bend the knee in, and then exhale, press it out and away. Inhale to bend it in. Exhale, push it out and away. Now, if you don't have a mud, or if you don't have a mud, if you don't have a band, I want you to imagine that you're pushing through mud or pressing up against a wall to find that oppositional energy. The heel reaching out nice and long, keeping the ankle flexed should help provide that energy. Here's two. And last one, come on in. We're gonna take that foot out of that band, place the band off to the side, lengthen that leg out nice and long, draw the opposite knee up, foot flat on your mat. Nice deep breath in, arms long down by your sides, and then roll that knee out to the side, keeping the opposite hip anchored. Stretch the leg long on the mat. That right foot's gonna reach past the left as you point the ankle, and then flex the heel, drag the foot back up there. Roll the knee out to the side. Stretch and reach the leg out nice and long. Rotate to the center, point the ankle. Exhale, flex the ankle, bend the knee, pull it back in. Roll the hip out to the side, anchoring that left hip down. Point and reach, come back to the center. Flex the ankle, pull it back in. Rotate out to the side, stretch and reach everything out. Point the ankle, flex the ankle, bend the knee. Rotate out. Stretch and reach it out long. Rotate, flex, and pull. Last one. Knee reaches out, leg reaches long. Rotate through the center, point, and then flex and pull it in. Grab hold of that band. Let's place it around your foot. <clears throat> so that opposite knee can come bent now if you would like it to be. 
you know, whatever works best to maintain your pelvis steady. We're gonna work that ankle here. We're gonna point the ankle and flex the ankle. Point and flex. So we're working on that ankle mobility here, working on the intrinsic muscles of your foot. And here's two. Last one, we're gonna actually rotate, circle the leg down and around, roll through internal rotation to lift it back up. So that means that the femur is rolling through your hip socket, working through the ranges of motion. Your hamstring should be getting a nice stretch here as well keeping the knee long. And here's two, really reach through, keep the pelvis steady. So both sides, that means it's steady east and west and it's steady north and south with the sacrum weighted. Now we're gonna circle the leg down and around. Find external rotation to lift it back up. Circle the leg down and around. Find external rotation. Circle down and around. And here's three. And two. And last one. And bend the knee. Flex the ankle. Exhale, press and point. Inhale to bend. Exhale, press and point. Oh, and then, yeah, last time, I'm sorry, guys. I cue you to flex your spine and curl up. A little extra ab challenge there. And here's three. And two, and last one. Bend the knee, take that strap off. Actually, take that back. Those of you who have the straps, place the strap on both feet, and then lengthen the legs down nice and long. Keep tension onto your strap. Those of you without, take your arms long down by your side, and then just curl your body back up, rounding and rolling through your spine and stack back up. Now we're gonna come sitting crisscross applesauce. Keep your bands handy. And then if you have free weights, get those handy as well. And if you want to have a seat up on a bolster or a little pillow to get your hips nice and steady, that would be great as well. Okay, so we're gonna start here with um, the rotating arms. So reach your right palm up to the ceiling and then left palm down. We're gonna start on the right arm only. And I'm gonna come a little closer to the computer screen because I really want you to see what's happening at my shoulder joint. So it's not coming from my wrist or my palm. So the arm is slightly in front of the body in that scapular plane, so it's not back here, it's here. Now from the humeral head, I'm gonna rotate the humerus forward. You see that work there? And I'm gonna roll it back. So it's really coming, the initiation is coming from the humeral head. And this is my janky shoulder. This is the one I had surgery on. So you might notice a little difference left to right. I have to work hard at this one. But that humeral head is rotating in and rotating back. So look for that motion. And then we're gonna talk, we're gonna add on a translation of the ribs. So now I'm gonna set as I rotate as I rotate back, I'm gonna send my ribs to the right, and as I rotate in, I'm gonna bring the ribs forward. And then now we're gonna turn that into a total body move here. So both arms are gonna go at the same time. So let's actually pause, let's work on the left for a moment. So rest your right, because that left arm, that right arm got a lot. So now we're just gonna rotate through the left and come on back. And then rotate through, warming up the left. This is a great um, scapular humeral head. It teaches the rhythm of the two parts to work together. And it's a great exercise to get the muscles of the shoulder mobilized. So now let's take your palm out, reach your right palm up to the sky, left palm down. Nice deep breath in. We're gonna rotate the right humeral head down and rotate and reach the left one up, shifting our ribs to the left. And then we're gonna switch and then switch. And then you can soften the elbows a little bit and rotate and reach. So dancers usually make this look very pretty, way prettier than I can make it look. But you're really just looking for the mobility through the shoulder girdle and through the ribs. For two and two, last one, last one. Bring your arms back to the center. For me, rest your left arm, reach your right arm up toward the ceiling and then 
I'm gonna tip my screen up just a baby bit. Okay, so now that arm is gonna reach up. You're gonna act like you're screwing a light bulb in and turning through the lap and then rotate it back in so the palm faces. And then rotate, pinky line rotates inward and then pinky line rotates out and the thumb is facing uh, away. So rotate it in like you're screwing a light bulb in and then back. So the shoulder's gonna reach as you rotate to screw the light bulb in and then you're gonna unscrew the light bulb. And here's two. So you should feel length through the lat. And last one, take that palm down, we're gonna work on the other one. So now that shoulder, the pinky line rotates inward for the arm to reach, and then the uh, armpit comes back down. Exhale, turn to screw in your light bulb, and then come on back down. Exhale, turn to reach, and back. And here's two. And last one and reach. Now take your band back in your palms, double it up, and find a little grip on it. And then, and then you're gonna take a nice deep breath in and breathe and pull out on your band and pull out. So you could do this with free weights as well, taking your arms out to the sides, pressing out. So find your lats to press out and pull out for four and three. Here's two. And one, take your band off to the side, grab hold of your free weights, and then reach them out in front of you. So draw your shoulders down your back. They should drape down your back like a cape. They shouldn't be up in your ears. There should be no roundness in your back. So give me length through your spine, get on top of the city bones, allow the shoulders to drape down, grow tall out the crown of your head, find your rib to ab connection, and then we're gonna hug a tree. Open your arms out to the sides, hug the tree, make it deliberate. Now with only two to three pounds, if you make this slow and deliberate, your little um, slow twitch muscles are gonna work like crazy. It's important for those slow twitch stabilizing muscles of the shoulders to work and find the stability within the joint so that when the action for the global muscles come to take over, they can do their job with the support of the local stabilizers. And here's two. And last one, reach your palms up. We're gonna hug the moon now. We're loving our earth and our planet. So now we're coming up and then back down. Exhale, reach, inhale, back down. Exhale, reach. So make it deliberate and slow. Ribs to abs connect, lengthen the wrists. And here's two. And last one, reach your arms up and overhead. Now keep the armpits facing forward and then get the arm bones as vertical as possible. Press the arms up to straight. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, press. So the upper arm bone is doing nothing. Scapula is working to stabilize on your ribs. Press the arms back up. And here's three and two. Last one, reach your arms forward, come out to your scapular plane. Give me little circles for the grand finale. Drape your shoulders down your back, no tension in your neck. Work from the middle back. Work from the delts of the shoulders for three, two, and one. Switch directions. For four, three, two, and one. And come on in, let's set those free weights down. Well done. Actually, one little grand finale. If you've got a ball or a ring, let's place that in between your inner thighs. Anything you've got to give yourself a little inner thigh connection. Maybe it's a yoga block, maybe it's a book, maybe it's just your inner thighs squeezing together. That's quite all right. Take your arms off to the sides, find your free weights again. Glue your feet down. I want them really reaching and you finding your arches here as you work through the inner thighs. Stack your spine, we're gonna exhale, rotate, reach back. Scoop the abs, stack the spine, come up nice and tall. Squeeze your ring, curl back, rotate, reach, come back to the center. Exhale, rotate, reach, come back to the center. Exhale, rotate, reach, and back to the center. Exhale, rotate, reach, back to the center. Exhale, rotate, reach, stack the spine. Inhale and exhale. 
inhale and exhale. Reach the arms out in front of you, little curl back, curl back up. Curl back, squeeze your ring, curl back up. Exhale, flex, curl back. And here's four, and three, two, last one. One more set of triceps. Hold your shape backward, get those arm bones up, press the arms up to straight, squeeze those inner thighs together, press and reach up for four. Chests are lifted, two, necks are long, and last one, circle the hands down, come on back in, weights come off to the side, ring comes out. Lengthen the right leg long onto your mat, grab hold of your left knee. Nice deep breath in, we're gonna roll our body back into our teaser sit, find length to reach the leg out. And then curl forward, set the knee down, stack the spine. So I'm gonna teach this in layers, you find the progression that works for your body. I'm gonna take it all the way through the hole, Progress if you feel comfortable. Nice deep breath in, exhale, curl back. The leg is gonna lift, and then curl forward and stack back up. Keep your bent knee down, I didn't say it right the first time. Exhale, curl back, the free leg floats up. And then curl back up and lengthen the chest. Exhale, curl back, free leg lifts. And then curl back up. We're gonna switch knees. Bend the right, lengthen the left, hang on to the right, curl back, lift the left leg up. Curl back forward and elongate. Exhale, curl back and reach. Inhale, curl forward and stretch the sternum. So exhale, curl back, reach. Hold that leg now, bend the knee, lift the opposite leg up, hold your bent knee, sit. So maybe this is where you're at, reach the legs out or arms out in front of you. We're gonna march, tap one toe down, other one. So you could always grab hold of one thigh and then the other, that gives you a little help. Here's three, and three, two, two, last one, last one. Lift both legs up, stretch them out nice and long. Find your teaser sit with your chest proud, reach your arms out in front of you, and then flex the spine, curl down, lengthen all the way back. So if you need to, bend one knee right now to float the other one up. If not, nod to 10, curl up, roll through your spine, and find your teaser sit at the top. If you need to arrive with bent knees, Go ahead and do that. Otherwise, stretch out to straight, flex the spine, scoop, and reach all the way back. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, sink the sternum, peel back up. Honor your body and where your, pro your, your process is at. You can see where mine is today. <laughs> nice deep breath in. And then exhale, reach, and then peel back down. Lengthen to reach all the way out. One more. Make this awesome. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, sink the sternum, float the arms up, scoop the belly, find your co-contraction, reach out in opposition. Try and find that teaser, sit at the top, and then reach out and peel back down. Well done, you guys. We're simply gonna curl back up, nod your chin, big spine stretch all the way forward. And we're gonna roll to face our side. So now both knees are gonna bend. The top foot is in front of the back, palm is out on this nice diagonal line here. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in, come up onto our hip, and find your side bend and your nice side stretch. Lower the hip back down, take the palm down. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, laterally stretch to the side, feeling openness on your hips. And then bend the knee and pull it back in. So the feet are glued together in this little tripod position with the front foot forward. Exhale, find your side bend, press up, and then come on back down. Now, we're gonna open up that angle a little bit, well, stretch out a little bit longer. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, find your side plank and your side bend, and then bend the knees, come on down. Grab hold of your shin, take your counter stretch to the opposite side. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, place the palm down. Inhale, find length, and press and float up into your side plank, side bend. So the ribs are lifting. Bend the knees to scooch the butt down toward the heels. Float the arm up to give yourself a counter stretch. One more, inhale up, exhale down, press and float up. Find that side bend. Now we're gonna take the palm down to your hip, look down, lift up, and find your side bend. Palm down, lift up, look up. Palm down, lift up, look up, and here's two. 
And last one. Knees come down and rotate to the opposite side. Well done. Right from here, let's come down onto your elbow, stretch your legs out to straight, and draw them forward of your body. So elbow under the shoulder, make a little bit out of it. Rib cage is lifted. Toes are reaching to the front edge of your mat with your heels lifted. Hips are stacked. Take a bolt through your pelvis and keep the hips stacked here. Nose, sternum, belly button, and one long line. I'm gathering the abdominals and maintaining my co-contraction. We're gonna lift the top leg up, sweep it forward two times, point the ankle and pull it back. Flex, reach, reach, point the ankle, pull it back. Flex, reach, reach, point the ankle, sweep it back. Flex, reach, reach, point the ankle, pull it back. Flex, reach, reach, point the ankle, sweep it back on an angle. Here's two. Last one. Draw the legs together, bring them back in alignment with the rest of the body. Now, did you lose your rib cage connection? How's that going? Do you have, is your shoulder staying neutral? Are you sinking? Are you losing it all? So find the connection, find the length. Lift the top leg up and point the ankle. Exhale, flex and lower it back down. So now it's important here to maintain a parallel alignment through the hip socket as you lower and lift the leg. If you turn out here, you're gonna grip in the piriformis and I don't want that to happen. So point and lift. If you were ballerina dancers, we'd be talking a different story. Here's three. And two. And last one. Now lift the ankle, circle back behind the body, pull it back in. Exhale, circle around. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, back and away. Inhale, find the length and opposition. Keep the hip open for three and two. And last one, switch direction of your circle. Lift, pull around. Find the length, lift, pull around. And here's three and two. And last one. Now, if you want to, if your neck's getting sore, come on down to a little head kickstand here. We're gonna bend the knee in, and then exhale, press it out. So my fingertips are on my skull. Exhale, press it out and away. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. And here's three. And two. And last one, grand finale. Lift the toe up, tap it down. Arc, tap the heel back. Lift the leg, tap the toe. Arc, take the heel back. Lift and tap. And here's two and two. Last one, last one. Stretch the legs together. Bend the knees. We're gonna find one more set of clamps. Lift the heels up, open the knee. Close the knee. Open and close. So inside borders of the feet stay glued together. It's a small spiral of the hip. For four, it's tinier than you think. Two, and last one. Set everything down. Give your hip a little, a little rub there. Everybody's glutes and hips should be well worked. Okay, we're gonna take this into a little progression. So now, we're gonna come around and come onto all fours again. And I want you to find your knees underneath your hips, palms underneath your um, shoulders. Nice deep breath in. Gather your abdominals and float the knee up. Knees caps up, you're holding right there. Nice deep breath in. Now on an exhale, press the leg back and lift up into that nice stretch and then bend the knees to come on back in. So both legs are stretching and reaching and then both knees are bending. Exhale, reach. Inhale, pull it in. Shine the sternum forward. Exhale, reach. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, reach. Oops. And then inhale, pull it in. And here's two. And last one. Set the foot down. Give yourself a nice little down dog stretch there. Bend the knees to return back into your shape. And then now, lift the left leg up. Press out to straight, inhale, bend them both in. So legs are straightening together, knees are bending together. 
exhale, press, inhale, bend, exhale, press, inhale, bend, exhale, press, and bend, and here's two, and last one, set the foot down, find your knee, hover, shine the sternum forward, set the knees down, well done, other side, so now we're on our left arm, We've got our side planks to do first. So we've got our right foot forward, left foot back. We're gonna come up onto our left palm. Nice deep breath in, so you've got that nice side sit. We're gonna keep the knee down, find lateral flexion to press and reach it up, and then lengthen to lower back down. Exhale, press and reach it up. Feel openness on the hip, lateral flexion through the ribs, and lengthen back down. Exhale, breathe, press and float. And lengthen back down. And here's two. And last one. Well done. Now, stretch that shape out a little bit longer so you've got room to come up into your full side bend. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, press and float up. And then lengthen down, find your shins. Come up for your mermaid stretch to the opposite side. Inhale, grow tall first. Exhale, place the palm down. Inhale, arm reaches. Exhale, laterally stretch to the side. Inhale, bend the knees. Grab hold of your shin. Arm lifts. Body stretches. Last prep. Inhale here. Exhale, float up to your perfect side bend. Now the hand is gonna come down to the hip. You're looking to your toes as you dip the hip. Lift back up. Exhale, dip. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dip. Inhale, lift. Last one. Exhale, dip. Inhale, lift. Bend the knees. Scoochie your booty down. And then find your little lateral stretch to the side. And take your hand back down. Come back down to your forearm for your side lying leg series. Body's in one long line. Toes are kicked to the front edge of your mat, so your legs are out in front of you. Find alignment through your palm and shoulder. Keep your ribs lifted. Keep your shoulder open, nose, sternum, belly button, all in one long line. We're gonna lift the top leg. Keep your sitting bones reaching behind you as you control, reach the leg forward. Point the ankle to sweep the hip into extension back. It's a flex, reach, reach, point and sweep it back. Now as you, so flex, reach, reach, sitting bones stay reaching behind you. Point and pull it back. The hip opens and the leg comes up on an upward angle. Reach, reach, and then pull. And sweep it back. And reach, reach, point, pull, sweep it back. Reach, reach, point, sweep it back. Last one. Reach, reach, point, and pull back. Draw the legs together. Bring them back in one long line. Point to lift the leg up. Exhale, flex to lower. Point to lift. Flex to lower, point to lift it up, flex to lower, use your breath, look for the ankle mobility, make sure the leg is staying parallel and the hip is not turned out, so the knee is pointing forward, and last one, lift the leg up, find circles back behind the body, so reach, circle, pull around. Keep the leg reaching out and long, so long. Crown your head, so long. And here's two. And last one. And then switch direction of your circle. Reach around. Reach around. And here's four. Three. Two. Pick up on your ribs. And last one. And then bend the knee in. Exhale, press it out. Inhale to bend. Leg stays parallel with the floor. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Neck is long. Sometimes it helps me to give myself a little feedback so that I draw my head and back with line with my body and don't let it come forward. Here's two. And last one. Point the ankle. Tap the toe down. Flex the heel. Reach it out and around. You need to place the palm down for a little anchor here. Tap forward. Heel back. Toe forward. Pick up through the ribs, find your shoulders. Here's two, and last one. Bend the knees, draw them together. 
You can come onto your little Pilates kickstand for your head. Draw the knees, lift the ankles so that you've got your clam. We're gonna clam open, clam close. Keep the inside borders of your feet together. And here's three, and two, and last one. Take the legs down, flip back over onto your bellies. Take your elbows tight to your sides, palms down on your mat. Lower the face down, nice deep breath in. Now we're gonna breathe out, come up onto our elbows into our little swan stretch. Ribs to abs, stay organized. Sacrum is rooting down, leading with the pinky line of the toes. Drink your shoulders down your back and lower everything back down. So pinky lines reach away. Sacrum roots down, gather your abdominals like you got hot coals underneath your belly. Push the palms to lead with the crown of the head to peel up into extension, keeping your ribs to abs organized. And then lengthen back down. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, draw the shoulders down your back as you float up. And lower back down. Now come up all the way if you've got it. So ribs to abs, stay organized, push the palms, allow the hips to leave, shoulders straight down your back, and then bend the elbows to lower everything back down. Nice deep breath in, exhale, press and float up. And then bend the elbows and lower everything back down. Exhale, press and float up. Bend the elbows, lower back down. Reach your arms out in front of you. Reach the legs up off of your mat. So you're in the superwoman, superman position. Left arm, right leg lift, and then switch, and switch. And I want it so slow, slow, deliberate. Parallel alignment, shoulders plugged in, knees are long, ankles are long, abs are pulled in, you're feeling the glute to lat connect. So backside of your butt and bottom of your armpit into your back for two and two, last one, last one. Release everything back down, take your palms underneath and push back and find a nice shell stretch, rounded back stretch, pull your shoulders in. Come back onto all fours and we're gonna end similar to what we started today. I want you now to lead with your sternum and rock that shape forward. And then exhale, take it back and round your back into your shell stretch. So a little exaggerated movement. Exhale, rock forward, lead with your chest. Nice big stretch. Talk the head, flex the spine, curl back, sit back on your heels. Last one, rock forward, reach forward. And then curl back. Take your left leg forward through your body onto your mat. Stretch your right leg out behind you and allow that whole shape to lift up. You can sink, rotate your body towards your right leg and sink that left hip down and you should feel a nice stretch through that left hip. You can take that shape down more to increase the stretch. Walk back to the center, curl the toes underneath. You take that foot back, take your other foot forward. Lift up, try and find a stretch on the front of the abdominals first, and a stretch on that left hip, and then roll through it to find the right glute. Roll back through the center. We're gonna take that leg and swing it forward. Fold the right knee in toward the left inner thigh. Make sure that that left leg is um, vertical, not rolling out. And then reach for the toes. And then if you reach your right palm to the outside edge of the left calf, you should find a stretch through the right side of your body, simultaneously stretching the hamstring of that left leg. Flex the ankle, grab hold of your toes, give it a little pull here to get the back side of the leg even more into the bottom of your foot. Flex forward, stretch forward through your back, just to the center. Take your left arm around your ribs, reach your right arm up to the sky and give yourself a nice little 
side bend stretch there. Take your hand to your foot and then open up through the chest and reach it back. And then come back to the center again. And then exhale, rotate and reach it back. And then come back to the center. Let's trade legs. Opposite foot comes in. Reach the other leg out nice and long. Flex forward, reach for those toes. Take your left hand to the outside of the right calf and find that spiral rotational stretch. Flex the right heel, pull back on the toes. Feel the length through the leg there. Breathe and come through the center. Reach the fingertips away. Allow the weight of the head to fall down. Curl back up. Crisscross those legs one together. Take your hands on top of the knees. Find a nice little spiral stretch here. Rotate, reach. Come back to the center. Exhale. Rotate and reach. And back to the center. And well done, you guys. Great class. Hi, it's Brooke. Thank you for spending your time with us. We truly hope that you enjoyed your class experience. Please follow us on your favorite social media platform. Like, subscribe, and book your next class. You can do that on our website or through our Reforming Foundations app. We'll see you next time.